He's an average kid that no one understands. Mom and Dad and Vicky always giving him commands. Dad, twerk! Tune and boom up in his room. He's broken instantly. Finds magic little fish who grab his every wish. Cause in reality, they are his odd parents. Barely odd parents. Wands and wick! Floaty brownie thing! Odd parents, barely odd parents. Really odd people, pop up, pop up. Scrubber, those green rose, guava juice, giant steak, birthday cake, large rice, chocolate shake! Our parents, barely our parents, they let you live when you have a kid with barely our parents! Yeah, right! Penalty kicks? I call this a penalty kick. Ah! Ah! At least he only hit me with his foot. Ah! Ah! If only his grades were this high. Ah! According to my records, that's only your 32nd beating this year. I'll never break last year's record. I'll be back after lunch for eight more beatings to make it an even... Uh... Oh, it's 32 plus eight. Forty? Forty it is. Ah! It's good! Give me a double wand to me, stat! Where? Ah! Eight more beatings? I gotta do something to stop Francis from wailing on the last unscarred 20% of my body! Too bad you don't have a Francis you do doll! A what do who? A you do doll! It's a previously secret doll that we never tell kids about! But if you must know, it's a magical doll of a person, and whatever you do to the doll happens to the real person it looks like! Take this Timmy you do doll, for example. Whatever I do to it happens to you! <laughs> There goes his last 20%! And that's not even the best part! Watch! I wish I had pudding. I wish I had pudding! Oh my gosh, this is gonna be great! No, but Timmy, magical you do dolls are very dangerous! That's why we fairies don't use them anymore! Hmm, interesting point. <laughs> no, nope, don't care. I wish I had a Francis you do doll! Revenge is sweet! Not as sweet as that pudding! Give Cosmo the pudding! <laughs> Sup, Mr. Francis, please kill me? If you're still alive tomorrow, don't miss the launch of my rocket for science class! Your rocket? But I did all the work on it. Fine. Our rocket. My rocket. Sorry, fellas, but I'll be busy beating up Francis for the next few days. I don't know what those signs say, but you're dead, Turner. I'm not afraid of you, Francis. In fact, I can take you with my hands behind my back. It's time for your daily dose of vitamin fist. Hey, did Timmy forget that he can make Francis talk too? I'm an ugly moron who likes butterflies and playing dress up. Ah, I hope he wishes for pudding. <laughs> Really, my hero. I'm not feeding them. Come on, guys, give it a rest. I gotta get dressed for school. <sighs> I'm not making them breakfast. Oh, man! I can't wait to do more you do today. 
I imagine Francis is enjoying breakfast right about now. I hate cleaning the litter box. Oh, there's nothing deodorizing about these crystals. <laughs> Timmy, I warned you that you two dolls can be dangerous. Not a lot of people can handle having that kind of power without abusing it. Yeah, maybe you're right. Ah, but what the heck do I know? In fact, wish up a whole box full of you do dolls. And let's wish up more pudding for Cosmo and dance. I'm a nag. Let's do the nag dance. You nag it to the left, you nag it to the right. I always nag my husband all day and night. Yay! She's finally listening to me. Hey, two can play at that game. And two can play at that game. You do dolls are dangerous. Which is why I'll be taking these to school with me. And don't worry, I'll only use the you do dolls in case of an emergency. Timmy, come back! Do you mind? Your disembodied head is nag, nag, nagging right by my severed ear. All right, children, pick up your pencils. That's emergency enough for me. One second thought, no pencils! Now excuse me while I hit myself on the head while changing all of Turner's F's to A's. Oh, A, oh, A, oh, A! No place to sit. Time to do some you do. <laughs> How many pink-hatted bucktooth losers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Ah! This seat taken. <laughs> Later. Ah! I think I'll sit next to my favorite pink-hatted bucktooth loser. You took the words right out of my mouth. Ta-da! This isn't right! Yeah, look how big my butt is! Hey, that's my butt! Which means this is your arm! Ouch! No fair! You started it! You never should have made that first Timmy you do doll! I wonder what I did with that Timmy doll anyway! <laughs> Francis, give me back my Bonnie doll! <laughs> to play my favorite game. Oh, Timmy, now that we've finally spent some quality time together, I've realized how funny and cool you are. Trixie, there's something I always wanted to say to you. I love Tootie. She's smart, she's funny, and she is so much prettier than anyone, especially that icky, yucky Trixie. Why did I say that? I don't mean it. Oh, no. My you-do doll, Tootie must have found it. Well, better her than... Francis! Give me my Timmy doll back! You want it? Go get it! Not quite. There's something wrong with your head. As usual. Ah! Girl hair! Neat! I'm a pink-haired Elvis! There it is! Whoa! Thank goodness I majored in French philosophy. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Contribution. What are you guys doing? Well, I'm about to launch my hour rocket. Whatever you say. And check out this cool astronaut. Ah, high marks for the death to Turner motif. Let's light this candle. Commencing world's slowest rocket launch. Gotcha. <laughs> Just one chance. His rocket. <laughs> 
I'll get the Fs. Made it! Safe and... Oh, no! Thank goodness I put all my money in internet stocks. the cake! It's spring cleaning for our colons! We're going to do this every day! In that case... Okay, now that my dad has finished our meals, it's time for dessert. Yay! Dessert! A math book! It's Tuesday. On Tuesday, we multiply fractions for dessert. Nothing is sweeter than knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner! Okay! You have finally accepted my invitation to share in your earthly, nightly, face-filling ritual! And since you're Eucopotamium and everything you do is backwards, you probably serve dessert first! That is correct! Enjoy! A broccoli and Brussels sprout sundae! <laughs> Is it not broccoli and Brussels sprout horrific? No, it's not! I want sugar, chocolate, stuff that'll make my teeth rot on contact! Dude, that stuff will kill me! Besides, on Yugopotamia, this is desserty tooth rotting goodness! My love! I want dessert, and I want it all the time. No carrots, no broccoli, no math books! <coughs> yeah, I'm knowledge intolerant. But, Timmy, eating healthy is what gives us the energy and brain power to function properly. Really? So I'm sure, Chocolate, the last thing you chocolate want from me is to wish there was nothing but desserts and chocolate. Chocolate. Did you say chocolate? Make the wish! Make the wish! I'm not usually the skeptical one. And I don't even know what skeptical means. But when Wanda eats a lot of sugar, she tends to... <laughs> what Cosmo doesn't know is nobody gives a hoot about his opinion. Uh, uh, I'm running, I'm running. Uh, look at me, look at me run, look at me go. <laughs> Dessert wish, make it happen! I wish for no more breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Just dessert! I made your favorite! Scrambled cake with three strips of chocolate and a hearty bowl of frosting! 
The life is sweet, and so is breakfast. Lunch, Lunch and, and dinner! dinner. Oh. There's your lunch. A sandwich. <laughs> yeah, an ice cream sandwich. This is awesome! I agree! <laughs> not for long! Um, Timmy, I'm not usually one to complain. That's Wanda. But when she eats a lot of sugar, she gets... The only thing I get when I eat dessert all day is a teeny weeny! Ah, oh no! Sugar rush! Run, Timmy! There's nothing healthy in her stomach to absorb the sweets! Run! Neat! I'm getting one too! Run! Wow! Nobody's listening to me! I feel like Wanda! Oh well! You know the old saying, when in Rome, let them eat cake! I'm Judge Ubatu with the morning news hour. All over Dimsdale, people are buzzing around with bursts of energy. The sugar rush hour traffic is moving at the speed of light. World records were set in all sports, and last night I wrote five operas while crowding my bathroom. That's the news. Um, we've still got 55 minutes left. And now I'm off to run a marathon! <laughs> Okay, let's get started with a test none of you are prepared for. Hey, for AJ. And now I think I'll run a marathon. But first, very good parents, very good parents, very good parents. Wow, a whole day of school in just three minutes. How sweet is this dessert wish? Again. Not one to inject logic into a situation, whatever a situation is, but eventually all this extra sugar energy will wear off. And then what? Ah, uh, I don't know. It has something to do with weight. <laughs> is it eat too many sweets and you get real heavy? No, that's not it. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, Timmy! You're suffocating me. You're gonna miss the bus! Now you roll down those stairs right now, young man, before you're late! What? No! Wait! Ah! Oh, ow, ow. Um, shouldn't we go along with Timmy in case he needs something? Oh, uh, okay! <laughs> you know, if he needs us, he can come get us! I like the way you think! Have you been eating books for dessert? Well, at least now we live in a world where nobody makes fun of you for being fat anymore. Hey, everybody, it's the fit kid. Let's stuff him in the locker because he'll fit. Non puny humans? I'm out of here! Well, at least Francis doesn't have the energy to bully anyone anymore. This turned out to be a pretty good wish after all. So a planet's orbit is relative to its size and distance from the sun. Only a significant shift in weight in one area of the planet, oh, say the size of Dimsdale, could unbalance it and send it wobbling into the sun. Now, if you'll open your desk, you'll find... More dessert! Yay! Do these pants make my butt look big? Ah! We are hurtling toward the sun for a molten taste with death! Roll! Roll for your lives! Roll! I've got to get Cosmo and Wanda and wish everything back to normal. Just up the stairs and... Oh, man. I'm 
I'm so unhealthy, I don't have the energy to climb stairs. So I'll just have to bring them downstairs. I wish everyone was back to normal and that the Earth wasn't going to crash into the sun. I'm a little winded, sport. Can you handle it on your own? Oh, I'll do it. Hang on, uh, my wand's here somewhere. Not my wand, not my wand. Hey, there's that dog I was looking for. Oh, I can use my wand. Oh, if only I had enough energy to wave my arm. Oh man, you were right. You do need healthy foods to have the energy to do things. Like lift your arms. But all the food in the world is dessert. And nobody eats healthy food for dessert. Hey, there's that cowboy I was looking for. How to do? Healthy food for dessert. That's it. I don't know, Turner. Why would I give you my last count of spinach cobbler? Tis the tastiest of all Yugopotamian desserts. So you're saying you won't help me save my doomed planet? Uh, yeah. Ah! Stop! For even under Earth's lighter gravity, you are crushing my gelatinous form. Thanks. Can I get a lift to my house? Are you mad? I cannot lift you! I meant with your ship! Oh. Okay. <laughs> Got any threes? What in tarnation? This might taste bad, but it's supposed to be good for you! <laughs> <laughs> At long last, my dream pool is finished! My dream pool ruined! Forgive me, Dinsdale Pool and Spomporium! Quick! Before I run out of energy! I wish everything was back to normal! Occasion, but balanced diets are what keeps us all healthy and not hurtling into the sun. Yeah, but these rows are so convenient, I just couldn't get rid of them. Cosmo, get me out of here! Not Wanda. Not Wanda. Not Wanda. Hey, there's the cowboy hunting that other cowboy. I'm looking for the varmint called Billy the Goat. Ah! Oh, ah! Hey, 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 watch those spurs! Ah, pointy! 